Hey guys, Milplux back with another countdown video. I think you guys will enjoy this one. You guys voted it the highest in the most recent poll, so I'm doing it. In this countdown video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 best money-making methods on old school RuneScape. Also, there will not be a poll in the description of this video. I've decided to stop doing the poll every now and then, just so the next video might be a surprise for you guys once in a while, and so you guys can suggest whatever you want me to do in the next video too sometimes. With that being said, let's get into the countdown. Number 10, Zamorok Wines. This method only requires 33 magic, and the items you're going to be needing for this is an air staff, some law runes, and some water runes. You can get a loot bag also if you choose to, ultimately increasing your GP per hour rates. If you don't know how to get a loot bag, basically you can just kill the Chaos Druids in the low-level wilderness areas, and they will more than likely drop it within your first 20 kills or so. Also, I highly suggest using the OS Buddy client because it allows you to switch worlds instantaneously, further increasing your GP per hour double what it might have been without using it. Basically, it's pretty simple. You telegrab the wine and hop with the OS Buddy client and then grab the wine again and so on and so on. Do this until your inventory is full and go over to the wilderness ditch and enter level 1 wilderness and store all the goods in the loot bag, then go back for more. Once you're done with two inventories or one if you didn't use the loot bag, Bag, teleport to Falador Bank and repeat for about one year. You will be richer than Zesma himself because these wines go for 1k to 1.3k each right now. Number 9, Battle Staffs. This method literally requires nothing except a decent cash stack. And once again, OS Buddy is highly recommended so you can hop worlds super quick. Near the Varok West Bank, you'll find Zaf's Staff Shop. God, try saying that five times fast. Anyway, he sells battle staffs for 7,000 coins each, but if you look on Zybez, battle staffs actually go for 8k plus right now. You could also buy some orbs and turn these battle staffs into fire, air, or water battle staffs, and so on, if your crafting level is high enough to do so, also making you even more profit over time. Number 8, Aviancies. Located in the God Wars dungeons, as well as the Wilderness Cave in level 30, Wildy, Aviancies can range from level 69 combat all the way up to level 131. Most people prefer killing these things in the wilderness caves because of the common drop of four noted Addy bars, whereas if you wanted to kill them in the regular God Wars dungeon, they would only drop at unnoted Addy bars instead. If you're going to kill these things, you can only use magic or range because melee won't work on them since they are flying too high in the sky for you to be able to reach them. It's also suggested to use a looting bag for the poison rune daggers they drop because you can out them for 9.6k each too. You need at least 60 strength to be able to move the boulder to get to them, and if you want to do these things, the best way to not get PK'd by a team would be to use the PvP world since most PKers don't really camp here on PvP worlds. And also, if you don't bring an armadillo item, or any other god item for that matter, you will find out that all of the monsters within the cave will want your body, and rape will be most imminent. Number 7, Ents. Located just northeast of Edgeville and straight north of the bar located right by the Wildy Ditch in Varrock, these creatures can reside in level 12 wilderness and you will hardly ever see any PKers here. If you do see that heart racing white dot, you can just teleport out immediately since you are under level 20 wilderness. Or you can run through the trees if you get desperate to try and lose your attacker also. These things are extremely weak to range, and not a lot of food is needed for these guys because you can safe spot them with ease, so don't let that 101 combat level scare you. If you have 75 woodcutting or over, once you kill them, you can use an axe to carve their dead trunk and receive all types of logs ranging from regular logs all the way up into magic logs, but ultimately if you are over 75 woodcutting, magic logs will be primarily what you get from them. It's a great money maker that few know about and almost nobody uses. Number 6, Green Dragons. Preferably, you'll want to use the Green Dragon spot located just northwest of Edgeville, due to the area only being in level 12 to 15 wilderness, as well as the entire area only being 1v1 if you do happen to come across a PKer. A looting bag is highly recommended here since you are in the wilderness, and of course, don't be a noob and forget your anti dragon fire shield. These things are level 83 and too easy to kill if you have at least 60 plus in all your combat stats. Probably the most dangerous part about this method is. Is running back and forth to the area because really the only threat you're more than likely gonna find here is the amount of bots stealing your kills but I guess you could always smack them with your whip once and have them teleport away anyway number five red chins 
I'm not going to use black gins because basically you will get PK'd if you go to black gins nowadays. But anyway, if you have level 63 hunter, you can start hunting red chinchampas with four traps. Once you get to level 80, you can lay five traps. Laying five traps will obviously increase your money per hour as well as having a high level too because you'll catch more the more you level also. Red Chinchampas can also be sold right now for 950 coins to 1k coins each, and apart from that, this method is pretty straightforward. There's a lot of focus and clicking needed, but this is one method that will seriously make you a lot of bank if you are absolutely bored and have nothing better to do in RuneScape and want to earn some fast cash money dollars for that wooden shield. Number 4, Teleporting Tabs. It's recommended that you have at least 25 magic and 40 construction for this method to be able to make Varrock tabs, which I believe they sell for the highest right now, as well as hiring your own personal slave, uh, I mean butler, uh, because he can unnote items for you. Also, I should mention, to actually be able to have the butler, you need a house with a bedroom in it, with a bed in it also for him. If you have 3k fire runes, 1k air runes, 1k water runes, a lectern, 1000 soft clay, and as well as 100k cash in your inventory, then you are golden. You can literally stay in your house without ever leaving to make your 1000 Varrock teleporting tabs. Making 500 usually takes you around 40 minutes, so basically you will maybe make 700 to 800k in an hour and 20 minutes if you focus on mastering this method. It's also semi afk too, which can be good if you want to watch Game of Thrones because that show is awesome and you will be awesome too if you watch it. Number 3, Staking. Just YOLO after YOLO after YOLO. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the real number 3 is Blue Dragons. Mainly because they are 100% completely afk and you do not even need to use food. Grab your best range gear with an anti-dragon fire shield of course and some Falador teleporting tabs. You can camp here all day long and it's not actually bad ranging experience either like most people think. I actually love the blue dragons because it's a really relaxing way to play the game, knowing you're becoming more badass in range because you barely have to look at the screen. And also if you have 70 plus agility, getting here is quite easy as that pipe does come in handy. They occasionally drop rune daggers and I recommend picking those up too. More often than not, you will also find some bots here, they usually don't pick up their dragon hides either, only just the bones, so there's free loot usually here too from time to time because of poorly scripted bots. Don't let that level 111 combat scare you either, because these guys are just giant blue noobs. Number 2, Rune Crafting Nature Runes. Only requiring level 44, this has got to be one of the best money making methods in the game if you have the patience for it, and don't mind focusing on the game, although over time it can become easy to learn how to afk this method. Rune crafting pouches are highly recommended, and if you grind enough to level 91 rune crafting, you can literally make almost 1 mil coins per hour with double nature runes. Just be careful because every now and then there are some PKers who don't know any of these methods that I've told you about, and will try to PK you for your glory, but if you are vigilant enough, you can always make a quick escape before they teleblock you, but 99% of the time, you won't ever see anybody trying to PK runecrafters here because of how newbie it makes you look and because it's just downright a douchebaggery thing to do. Number 1. Skeletal Wyverns be prepared to use a DFS, elemental shield, or a mind shield if you plan on using this method. Otherwise, these scary things will hit you for a 40 almost every single time. It's recommended to have all 80 plus stats in combat or 80 plus range before attempting these guys, and you also need to have at least 72 slayer to be able to kill them, but boy is it worth it. My friend sent me this picture literally yesterday, and here's the loot he got from 388 of these things. He said it took him around from 9am to 5pm with little focus and that all this loot was somewhere around the 5 mil, 6 mil area. Wyverns also have a chance of dropping elite clues and draconic visages, which in my opinion makes them the best method to use for cash in the game right now. Their bones can also be used for good prayer experience if you worship them on a gilded altar too. Be careful when fighting these things because not long after my friend sent me this loot picture, he also sent me this picture, but he was able to get his stuff back. That's it for this countdown. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you guys, and if it does, please leave a like. Keep those suggestions coming since there is no poll this time around, and I will talk to you guys later.